Cherry. Thank you, Jamie. I'll be talking to you again later in the program. But first, let's check on how South Korea is reacting to the latest events in Japan. Nemo? Yes, Sherry. On Friday, after radioactive substances were found in some Japanese farm produce, the government here decided to suspend imports of some vegetables and dairy products from four prefectures around the stricken nuclear facility in Japan. The government said that imports of spinach, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, turnips and milk would be halted until contamination fears ease, adding that other items may be added to the list if found to be contaminated. South Korea has seen a surge in orders from Japan for mineral water. One major manufacturer here says following the disaster, orders from Japan skyrocketed. And they've climbed even higher since elevated levels of radioactive material were detected in tap water from Fukushima and Tokyo last week. Japanese orders for South Korea's most popular brand of purified water, Soksu, hit 2,435 tons this month, a threefold year-on-year -year increase. Orders for instant noodles are also on the rise. Nongshim, a major South Korean processed foods manufacturer, said that this month, Japanese orders for instant noodles are at about $7.5 million. That's more than double last year's March figure. Thank you for that, Nemo. We'll be back with more news from South Korea and China. But first, we take a look at how the events unfolding at the Fukushima Daiichi plant are affecting nuclear energy policies in Asia. Countries here have been enjoying rapid economic growth in recent years. Now, along with this growth, demand for electricity is expected to surge. A number of countries had been looking at nuclear power generation as an answer to their energy woes. Of the 443 nuclear power reactors currently operable around the world, 111 are located in Asia. 40 of the 62 reactors under construction are also in Asia. And Japan, China, South Korea and India account for over half of the 94 reactors planned for construction. Thailand, Vietnam and Indonesia have also been considering a shift to nuclear power amid concerns about supply and costs of the resources used in thermal power generation. But the ongoing troubles in Fukushima are prompting some to reconsider their atomic energy plans. In an interview with NHK on Friday, Thai Prime Minister Apisit Waichachiwa said his government will carefully re-examine plans to start building the country's first nuclear power plant in 2020. We still have about a year or two to make that final decision whether to go nuclear or not. But now I think we will we'll reassess the risks and we'll all see how, uh, how the rest of the world also reacts to this. And in India, about 100 protesters staged a demonstration on Friday to demand that the government shelf plans to build more nuclear reactors. Even a country like Japan is unable to manage a nuclear genie. So we must abandon the whole nuclear plan, transfer the whole subsidy and more to renewable energies which are safer. Currently, there are 20 reactors in operation in India, and the government 